Well, it is time for Wallet Wednesday. Budgets may be tighter these days, but you shouldn't have to choose between saving money and eating healthy. And that's easier said than done, especially as prices are seen rising at grocery stores nationwide. So joining us live with some tips to help us stay healthy and not break the bank is clinical pharmacist and author James Laval. Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Doing well, I think this is a very timely topic. I have noticed my receipts at the grocery store getting a little longer, a little higher every time. Yeah. So is this fact or fiction that it really it's more expensive to eat healthier? You know, I think if you shop smart, it's really not any different. I mean, just look at if you're going through for people that are buying fast food. I mean, if, you know, you can, walk, you can go through a fast food restaurant, it's gonna run you, you know, 30 bucks for Two or three people, you know, minimum nowadays, you can shop and get really healthy food at reasonable, you know, prices. But then you got to just decide what am I going to do. So the first step is, is you know, look at things like frozen vegetables. You know, so many times you buy fresh produce. How many times you go and you know you open up your vegetable drawer and you go, oh my gosh, what am I growing in there, right? Because you mm -hmm. forgot about something you bought fresh. Uh, frozen produce is great because it, it seals that freshness in and the nutrients at the time of picking. It's picked at its peak ripeness. So using frozen produce, fantastic. I mean, one of the big things that people can do because you can reseal that bag and use it again. You just got to watch you don't overcook it, right? There you go. Yeah, so you don't, uh, you said you don't lose nutritional value when you go with frozen instead of fresh then. A lot of people That's think correct. you do. For, for, yeah, I know cans a little different because, you know, they cook it and overcook it and, you know, it's kind of mushy. But fresh, frozen, flash frozen food stays with very high nutrition value. You know, the other thing you can do, too, is make sure you're getting the app and looking at the stores to find out what do they what do they have on sale. Mm -hmm. And trying to get foods that are more reasonable and yet healthy if you look at blue zones, areas where people live a long life. They eat more vegetables. They eat less protein and i'm not i'm by no means someone that says you must go you know vegan you got but i do believe in a plant forward diet where people are eating more vegetables uh, uh, the average american's not getting in more than three sometimes you know if we're lucky five but i think that's super important that uh people start to look at well if i'm gonna really reach for health you know legumes beans rice a, a great substitute uh, occasionally maybe a day a week uh, at least that you can do to get lower lower price protein and i think that's valuable uh, okay. because it's going to help people to get a healthier lifestyle as well so some good strategies there look at the blue zone diets and and look at some vegetable and, and plant-based protein as an option too frozen instead of fresh another one of your tips uh jim you said maybe try to extend dry january why i, I wouldn't think to look at, at drinking when i'm also looking at a grocery budget <laughs> yeah well just look in the grocery carts uh so it's you know, you know obviously if you can have that dry january uh alcohol adds up uh in terms of cost and a lot of times people go oh, yeah, that little you know glass of wine the glass becomes a goblet and the goblet becomes two goblets right uh in order to kind of chill off from the stress of the day and it, and one it's not really the healthiest thing to do on a regular basis if you're going to have you know you know you know significant amount of alcohol on a regular basis Two, it's expensive. Um, I think the other one is, is people are, you know, out trying to take nutrients. I think taking things that have multiple uh, benefits can help people to save money as well. I mean, I, you know, if you think about it, post-pandemic, a lot of people got into taking nutrients for their immune system and their health. Uh, you know, one of my favorite, because it's got over 900 publications, is a, a aged garlic extract or kyolic, because it's shown to lower blood pressure and reverse vulnerable plaque. And those are key areas for people as we're looking at if I'm going to eat healthier, I'm trying to prevent heart disease and diabetes. What supplements could I use that can also help me do that? Because, you know, maybe I'm not going to really eat as good as I should. So I do think there's some real value in that as well. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, where can we get information about this? And, and uh, when we talk about that, also talk about the importance of, of planning. A lot of times I go to the grocery store and I'm just, oh, I need this, I need that. And, and yeah. not really thinking forward enough in terms of where my, my nutrition will go. Or you go when you're hungry. Big, yeah, that's, big mistake that's not there. a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what? Well, we, we became empty nesters about a year and a half ago. Um, and it's interesting. We started really planning our meals out and we cut our grocery bill in half. And we're still buying, you know, grass fed beef and getting, you know, good, you know, chicken and getting organic vegetables. 
but we'll get things delivered. Uh, and then we'll also go to the store now with a plan on the things that we're short on. And it really made a difference. Uh, because I go in a refrigerator, you see things always kind of rotting or we're throwing it away. And, and now with that planning, as you said, makes a huge difference on your on your grocery bill. And and also you start to eat less. Uh, yeah, to your point, you go to the grocery store when you're hungry. You know, it, it's going to be one full cart. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you, you know, in general, you're going to eat it. And we still got a big problem with weight in our country. So, you know, learning portion size and planning your meals helps your budget and is going to help your health. And I think, that, you know, that's really where we need to be focused is developing a lifestyle that promotes health by picking foods and, and shopping for those types of foods. Yeah, some good, good advice to chew on. Jim, thanks for sharing your tips. We appreciate it. Sure. And for more financial advice and money management tips, you can check out our Wallet Wednesday segments. Just go to coin.com, click on AM Extra.